Hey, orange one here. Let's get straight into it. Uh, those looters that we followed, um, I tried to follow them to attack them. And there's a group of 16 of their friends Move! that are, um, that joined them. So we got, we got a pretty big group here. Uh, we're going to try and do some archery, try and take out a couple of them, and then just kind of get a little bit of experience myself, to be honest. I, you know, I could have ran away from this group, and I was considering it, but I figured now's a good time to get some headshots and get some good experience with the bow. And just kiting these guys away from them means that if I can have, like, them fight them at like two at a time or whatever. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, I need to get the physics going. Yeah, in my favor a little bit more. Let's get the headshots. Come on, those dudes gotta get finished off for my, my crew soon, right? Okay, that one's down. Okay, the uh, couple tribesmen died there. That one's down. I mean, I still, I feel like if we had a one-to-one -one ratio of my dudes to their dudes, I'd feel more comfortable. But we just have tribesmen right now, like, they're not the units you want to take into battle, if I'm completely honest. Man, we're getting a number of headshots. I think I'm getting a hang of this whole archery thing. Okay. And last one. Okay, another headshot. Now's the question for how do we get them to attack my dudes in a way that's going to be advantageous for me. I could tell my dudes to like Forward! take this location and they'll get the high point. Let's just take a couple of them away. Yep, come over here. And the rest of the crew Attack them. Yep, you got the numbers. You're good. You, you got the look. You got the numbers. Get them. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. Like for real. Oh, and finish them off. Nice. Oh, very nicely done. The merchant becomes the uh, the warrior. You know, I was thinking that we could be a little bit of a looter. Oh, yeah, this weapon does not lend itself to horseback fighting very well. We could be a little bit of a raider, because we do have the roguery skill really high. But I, I want this to be like a trading let's play. That's the character that I was going for. So we'll, we'll take some prisoners. That's a little bit of cash. 200 cash, that's good. That's some seriously good money. Um, I want um, one of each. That'd be good. Done. And then let's take all the stuff. It's, you know, as long as we can carry the, the weight, I'm taking it. Um, this is our encumbrance here. And then we can, I saw a video that someone was talking about this capacity. So we've got a lot of troops so we can carry a good amount. Um, but if we lose those troops, we won't be able to carry as much. Uh... Yeah, I think we've got stuff that's better here, yeah. Let's just kind of look through everything. It's essentially the same gear as what we have, because those were looters, huh? Yeah. Their gear is pretty much just trash. Um, so, yeah, we're, we could... Here's, here's what I'm thinking of doing, is... Uh, we're gonna go around here and buy like dates and other things that are the primary production of these places and then go take that stuff to another um, city or something that actually has it in demand and look for places. This dude has a family feud. I don't think that I'm powerful enough to do that. Um, I think I'm gonna buy all of these dates and try and sell them somewhere. Because that's like what this town produces. Um, could sell that for seventeen. I think I want to hold on to the clay though. Let's just get rid of all these clothes. We don't really need that. 
and we'll actually make money um a good amount there I mean, not not a whole lot but we'll make something let's keep let's keep like maybe a hundred on us and then we'll probably make some as we um as we wander the map right how much yeah our wages are 26 so it's it's pretty low wages can i recruit another tribesman maybe sure let's let's just get one more dude um okay so we've got dates now the question is where would the dates be valuable and as much as I want to explore all these other cities, I think we need to make some money. And to do that, I think our best bet is to go to a different faction and try and sell our dates there. We'll see how this goes. I have no idea what to expect, really, with this. Um, and if I get an opportunity, I will attack looters as we're moving. Uh, there's a group of eight looters here. They're kind of on our way. Just slow it down a little bit, just in case. You know, last time we got kind of, uh, hold on, we kind of got surprised there. Oh, I wanted to level up trade. I forgot to put my focus points. Okay, I'm going to just focus on that. Let's just get this up to four, and I am going to focus down on trade as much as I can. And that should help us learn these things a little bit faster. Um, yeah, and they're not going to pay off for a while, but trust me, we're going to want it. Uh, we could recruit you. Sure. Hmm. I could level six. I mean, nah, we're not going to recruit you for now. We're just going to sell you at the markets probably oh my gosh really <laughs> um we're gonna attack i'm gonna just see if i can get a little bit of uh, experience here just you gotta get around this massive imperial regiment you know you gotta you gotta do what you can for experience oh no Okay, yeah, hit one of them. Nope. Come on. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're done. Well, that that was pathetic. I almost feel bad about that one. I shouldn't feel bad though. They were dishonorable, and as I uh, learned from one of the uh, my buddies on Discord, who's actually he's from Jordan, I think. He was telling me about how much honor matters. And so I kind of feel like we shouldn't be a bandit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, but we could go... I, oh, you're, you're a bad boy. Yeah, I wanted to also maybe raid someone. I might go raid villages from the Khan 8. And then... Um, eh, let's, let's go over here just to see... Get information... I kind of want to just check out the castle, to be completely honest. I haven't been in one. we got to do it. You know, it's part of the whole thing of a Let's Play, is you got to show off the different aspects of the game, right? Okay, I didn't anticipate I'd be on foot, but this looks like an awful place to try and siege. Which is perfect. It's a castle, right? I like how I can carry my blade with me. But I'm not sure how I holster it. I know there's a button to do so, but I can't remember it right now. Uh, it's not R. E brings up Hoggle for the combat log. Oh, that's interesting. Hello. This place is a total, totally empty, desolate location. I kind of want to go to the dungeon to see if I can even get in, or if there's going to be a guard there who's like, nope, you can't enter. Yeah, this guard's going to be like, sorry. Can't enter. Okay, never mind. 
Um, let's go to... Let's leave this place. What do you guys do? You primarily, primarily produce grain. Do I need grain? Eh, I think we're okay. Uh, let's instead... Let's go over here. Oh, they produce salt. Okay. Well, we might want to go buy that salt when we're done in in town. Um, oh, someone just got rid of some prisoners and recruited someone. I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw was another lord doing that. Oh, I like how you have to go around to their entrance. That's pretty sweet. Um, so let's go in here. We're going to try and do some trade. And hopefully these sell for a good amount. Yes, they do. Look at that. 59 per. So if I sell all of those, so I sell all of that. Look at that. Uh, that was a pretty good profit. I like that. Um, the clay is not selling for very much, though. All right. Deal. And let's see. I think we might have just... Um, oh, we're getting an opportunity to recruit a guy. No, we're going to sell that dude in the tavern. Ransom. <laughs> Dude's worth five gold. Oh man, I feel kind of bad about that. Hey, so we now actually have some money to work with. We've kind of recovered. Um, got 600 cash. I feel like we should probably um, buy that salt and then go down here and try and see where we can sell the salt. They produce grain. They produce salt. I think salt is gonna be more profitable. Oh, also we need to talk to caravans. Um, let's make our way up to over there. And we might raid a village iron ore. Yeah, um, I don't think we have enough people actually to even try and raid, so that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, we don't have enough people to even try and raid. So we'll we'll get some salt here, and then we'll go try and find um, probably one of these cities to sell the salt at. Uh, let's see, buy product and sell. Yeah, it's a, it's somewhat of a profit, but yeah, I don't know. Not a whole lot. We'll do it though, it's it's pretty close. Right? I just need to not lose all of my money on this. Maybe I don't want that much salt because the value's gonna go down as we do it. Yeah, we're only making like what six profit off of each one of these. I don't know man. I feel like that profit's gonna go down as soon as we trade like five of them. We're gonna do it though. Just because um, I, I'm not really sure what else to do. Um, we could try and go and, oh wow, there's big war going on here. I wonder if that's gonna affect the, um, the resources the city has, if they're gonna be more willing to pay for things. Uh, oh wow, the salt's actually valued a lot higher than what I thought it was. I might go back and sell more. So if I'm trying to sell all that, there we go. We all of a sudden, if I'm looking there now, how much do you value the salt at? Still 65. Let's go back and load up on as much salt as we can back at that place. And then I'm just going to check on my character. How are we doing on the trade? Uh, we haven't gotten that much experience, but we're going to start making more money the more we do this. Yeah, that Imperial Force is impressive. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm kind of surprised that this we're even able to do this this, this much. So I can't I can't buy that much. I think we need a little bit just as like, just in case, you know. 
Sure, let's do 16 salt, and we need to watch the price to make sure we don't lose too much value. Man, I'm glad that we, we finally figured this out, because I was getting a little worried there. Uh, yep, daily gold change. So is this the denar is daily? Yeah, we lose 28 daily, so wages are done by day, not by week. Okay. Can't believe I'm just realizing that now, but it's all good, right? Okay, they are being valued at less, but we're still making money off of it. Oh, well, I'm happy. Um, if we look here, am I gonna get some information about rumors? To buy it Razif for thirty. I think it's better to buy it at the uh, villages, isn't it? I'm not sure, actually. The village wasn't it like 31? It's essentially the same thing. Um, what could we do? We could do wool. Wool has got a pretty good return on the investment. Damascus, is there anything that I can sell at Damascus? Anything that will sell at Damascus? Nope. Nothing that sells well there. Okay, well, we're gonna want... What was it that I was just looking at? It was the wool, wasn't it? Yeah, the wool's got a pretty good price here. Okay, let's go to Damascus and get some wool. Oh, actually, hold on. Did you see that? The clay is actually worth something here. Yep. Goodbye. Oh, we should probably get some grain. How expensive is grain here? You don't even have grain. Okay. Never mind. We'll go get grain on our way back over there. You produce grain, so that's literally perfect. Like, I'm going to ask for a better setup. I kind of want to go... Um, Hold on, what? You produce grain, don't you? Isn't that your primary thing? Okay. Um, we're gonna go kill some looters. Just because I'm getting a little a little bored with all this trade. Is it just me or does this sound like Zelda or something? Oh there's oh there's actually a pretty big group of looters there. I'm gonna go for that. And if this guy... He didn't get attacked. Wow. Okay. I was actually surprised by that. I thought that the dude would attack them for sure. It looks like the looters have adjusted to our, our level a little bit. How's our trade doing? Still not very high. Well, it's exponential, right? So we'll, we'll get it eventually. Let's just make sure that we don't get into trouble by getting attacked, attacking these looters while there's another group around. They'll never take us alive. Well, that's not really the plan. I, I'm honestly just looking for some revenge for my family against bandits. I'm, I think I could just charge in and then I'll tell my guys to come in and I'll let them get some experience because they really do need some better units. I, the only way that I, I really do better is if the units do better. Because as you can see, I only have so many arrows. Um, three of them are going in. And I think if it's one-on-one, -on -one, we could, they could handle you guys. Especially if I've weakened y'all with a little bit of uh, arrow fire. Or not, because I can't hit you apparently. Yeah, let's, let's let the, the crew get in there. I'll just shoot a couple more. Just to make things interesting. I feel like the nobles in, in Kenshi. Like I'm, I'm uh, wandering the wasteland hunting man. Just for fun. Oh, I got a point in tactics. Nice. Well, that dude's down. What about this guy? Have I got an archer? 
Not one that's aiming at you. I wonder if there's a way for me to easily see, like, the... How the far the border is to the map. Because I, I haven't seen that on here. Like, alt gives you that, but I don't think we have the battle map like we used to. Cool. Good times. Um, well, we got all of them as prisoners. Um, another skirmisher. I like ranged weapons. Why fight someone on foot if you can hit them from a distance, right? Wait, the grain was valued at 200? That, that must be a glitch. Yeah, and all these are just rags, so they're, they're not going to be things I actually want. The wine, I could buy it, Danicus. Hmm. But we could, we're not going to do that, we're going to probably just sell the wine here. Let's go get some salt and we'll sell the wine and the salt there. Um, okay. What's all this taking prisoner? Okay, so there's some battles off in the distance. It's always kind of been weird to me that we can sense this in the distance that that's happening. I mean, I suppose we hear about it, right? Okay, um, I am going to, first of all, just sell off all this junk. And I am going to buy... Should I buy all of the salt? Uh, uh, I think that that's probably excessive. Um, yeah. Let's do like that. We'll keep at least two days worth of pay. It only takes us like a day to get back. And you know what we could also be doing is there's essentially a little mini game that you can do. Um, I'm actually curious if we go to this village, if these villagers give us trade um, advice as well. I think they might. Sorry, teenager. Yeah, they they do give us little bits of rumors as well. So we can essentially this is kind of I think of it as like a little bit of a mini game. You just go around, talk to villagers, and they'll, they might tell you about some rumor or something going on. Oh, they tell you about villages that got attacked? That's kind of cool. I almost shot an arrow at this fish to see if I could go fishing, but I know you can't. <laughs> it's kind of like, that's the point. Um, I could check out the available issue here. Yeah, that that green seems expensive to me. What about the butter, though? Well, it seems pretty valuable here, the butter. Uh, let's leave. We'll go over there. I mean, you'd think in the country they could get uh, milk and butter easier than here in the city, but I guess not. Yeah, weirdness of the economy there. Yeah, we can make 70 profit from the wine per unit. That's pretty good. Pretty good deal. Uh, the salt. I How much did I just buy the salt for? I feel like I would need to go back and watch it, but I'm pretty sure we spent... Um, it's like 30-something for it. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what I want to do with that trade because that's I don't think that's a good trade all of a sudden. Um, we can buy that in resin for 30, so we don't want to trade it in resin. Well, we were at like, what was it, 800 something cash? So, I mean, I think we're making money. It's not as much as we should be. So I think we'll hold on to some of the salt. Let's just hold on to like... 7 units of salt for now. Um, 
And we could go trade the wine. The wine was, was making pretty good uh, money between these places. Let's, yeah, let's, let's do that. Um, yeah, you're just patrolling. I thought that you might be a merchant. I haven't seen too many caravans, but I'm just going to jump between these two for now. Seems to be working out. Oh, mountain bandits. Ooh, they could have some better loot. Do I want to attack them? I'm kind of scared to attack them, to be completely honest. I could go into the bar and recruit some dudes and then attack them. It cost me some money, but we have some money now. That's the thing. Uh, see the salt selling for more here than it was at that other place. Kind of crazy. I think we must have broken their uh, supply chain. Um. Oh yeah, this wool also that's got a profit of thirty. Um. Tell you what. We'll get rid of the salt. Let's do a little trade. Um, I do need a little, little more grain though. Let's just get that, and then I think where was where was the wine? Because that wine that sold for quite a bit. I don't see wine. Okay. Let's sell that for a profit of 10. Profit of like 30 there. Well, I think we should do that. We should probably go sell beer. With a low uh, buying price and a decent profit. That seems to me to be the best option right now. There's also the wool, which is pretty good as well. We could do wool... Oh, we could do like a mix of pottery wool and uh, beer. Which one of them has the lowest uh, cost? The beer seems to me to be a good, a good one to trade. Then <laughs> that's awesome. I love I love beer in real life. And it's kind of perfect for the sorry, right? Because isn't beer from like uh, the Fertile Crescent? Um, yeah, I think the beer is gonna be our best opportunity for profit. And we just want a couple days, so we'll go to like a hundred-ish. We'll go down, so we've got like around a hundred. Oh, we're over capacity, actually. Capacity has exceeded. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we have enough gold to buy a horse or anything, so we're going to do that. And this seems to be profitable in a decent amount. Uh, we were going to go sell that beer in Hassan. Yeah. We really do need to go visit more cities though so that we get a better idea about where what the prices were. But the nice thing about the prices here is that because these two are so close we can actually kind of know realistically what's going on. Uh, yeah, what, where are you trading here? Oh, the beer's fairly valuable. I might sell you like one beer. Uh, what have you got here? Um, I could sell that for 126, really. Uh, let's get one of those. If that's really true, then that's going to be incredibly uh, valuable. I, I feel like I should be buying more, but I kind of don't believe that that iron ore is going to um, sell for that much. Okay, enjoy your beer, guys. Hope it makes the road easier. <laughs> Man, Rodan, I, I love this character. This is so fun. Super, super fun. Uh, let's do a little trade here. Yeah, I kind of knew that ore was not going to be valued at what they said it was. So we paid 90 for that. But um, the beer were making good amount of money there. Yeah. Okay. I'm suddenly okay with that iron ore. Um, 
I think that's a good point to end this episode at. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.